everyone so it's a very very dreary day where I live it's really dark and rainy outside and it's really upsetting me because I don't like rain a lot of people are like it's so relaxing you get to go lay in bed all day and no I don't I get to film videos and I want it to be sunny but it's not okay so I've decided to do these throughout the years videos and I might do all tw uh, 12 I guess there will be no there will be 13 of them. I might do them all pretty much in a row. I might skip, do one a week. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. But what it is, I first saw it on either What the Buck or Shane Dawson's channel. I'm not sure, but I know they both did it. And what it is, is you go throughout each school year of your life. So it goes from like first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade. And you tell how that year was for you. You tell what you remember, um, funny stories stuff like that. So the first one is from birth to preschool and then I'm going to start with kindergarten and then first, second, third and it'll go all the way up to junior year. If you want to do these videos and post it as a response that would be awesome. Um, try to post the same year under whatever year video mine is. So like sixth grade. If you do a sixth grade one post it under that one and I think that'd be a really fun idea. So anyways I was born in Georgia. I don't live where I was born anymore. I've moved quite a few times. Um, when I was born, I was born at a hospital, and then I was taken home, and I lived in that house for three months, so I don't remember it, but then we moved to another house that I lived in until I was five. Um, I don't remember much. I remember we had a, two dogs named Socks and Jessie, and Socks was a dachshund, and Jessie was a Bastahelm, and I remember them, and I only have a couple flashbacks, but I remember... On one of my birthday parties, I think it was my fourth birthday party, I had a Little Mermaid pinata, and Jesse the Basset Helm jumped up and got it. And it, it made all the kids really upset because there was candy in it, and he smelled the candy, and it was really low since we were all really short, and we were, like, going to hit it with the bat. And he jumped up, and he got it, and he tore all the candy out so that we didn't get to do the pinata, and I was very upset. And I remember that feeling, and I, I mean, I know I was really young, and you don't really remember stuff, but I remember just a couple things. There was a community pool that one time I begged my dad to take me to. And I mean, we went like every day on the summer. But it was like the last day it was open and they were busy. They were trying, my parents were trying to do something. And I begged my dad and he was like, okay, I'll take her. And we go and a little kid had pooped in the pool. And so we couldn't get in it. And so they went ahead and closed the pool that day. And it was very upsetting and I remember that. Um, I learned how to spell my first word. It was off. O-F-F, -F, and no one in my preschool believed me that it was off, um, that that's how you spelled it. They thought I was making it up, but I know I was right because I was in my mom's car, and I noticed that when you turn the air conditioner to O-F-F, -F, it went off. So I went into preschool, and it was on St. Patrick's Day. I guess I was five on St. Patrick's Day. That couldn't have been the first word I learned how to spell. Maybe it was. I'm a slow kid. But anyways, um, I went in and I was like, everyone, I know how to spell a word. And they were like, no, you don't. You can't spell. And I was like, I can too. I can spell off. And they were like, spell it. And I said, O-F-F. -F. And they were like, you made that up. So I ran and I got my mom because since it was St. Patrick's Day, they were having a party at the preschool and all the parents were there too. So I ran and I dragged my mom over and I was like, mom, how do you spell off? And she was like, OFF. -F. And I was like, ha, told ya. Um, I remembered that. What else? These years, this first video is going to be a little strange since you don't really remember much. What else do I remember until I'm five? Hmm. I remember the bathrooms in my preschool were, um, and now that I'm thinking back on this, I guess little kids really don't care. But it was like one room with two toilets and a sink. But I remember there, there were like no doors or anything, but it wasn't strange even though... I mean, we were five. I guess it doesn't really matter. It was just girls in one and boys in the other. Oh, we went swimming one time. We went on a field trip that you had to wear your bathing suit, and we came home, and the teachers told us to wait, and we would go into the bathroom like two or three at a time to change back into our clothes. And a little boy, he changed into his clothes in the classroom in front of us. Oh, my gosh. It was the scariest thing in the world for a little five-year-old girl and of course the teachers got mad they were like no run to the bathroom and he ran to the bathroom because like the bathroom was connected to the classroom so he didn't have to like leave the classroom and go in the hall running down but they like picked him up and they were like go 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 but oh gosh I remember that day like whew. what else socks and Jesse were put to sleep um they were both 
I think they were like both blind and deaf. They just got, they went downhill. They were the same age and they just went downhill at the same time. And my parents told me that they passed away on the same day. And I was like, really? They did? And I just learned, I think it was like a year ago that I learned that they were actually put to sleep on the same day. And I still, like, I believed that they just died on the same day. But no, they had to be put to sleep and it was really sad. Um, and then we got another dog. We got a dog named Pebbles that was a pug that passed away about a year ago, and it was really sad. We've, we had her for a really long time. Um, her name was Pebbles. We got her in Atlanta. There was a college student who was going to UGA, and she had a pug, and she couldn't take care of it because she had too much schoolwork and, like, I don't know, just work to do. She was a college student. So she put an ad in the paper, and we have family that lived in Atlanta. So we were there visiting. My mom read the ad, and she was like, we've got to go see this dog. So my mom walks in to the girl's, like, apartment, and the dog's in the bathroom, and she's like, I have to warn you. You know, she's not showing any affection to anyone that's come by, so I haven't let them have her. I want her to really love them. And mom was like, okay, well, let me just see her. And she opened the door, and Pebbles ran and jumped on my mom's lap and started, like, licking her and stuff. And the girl who was giving her away was like, she's never done that. So mom was like, I've got to take her. And I remember I was sitting at my aunt's house and, um, I'm sorry, this is probably like just all random memories that make no sense to you guys, but I was sitting at my aunt's house and my mom brought the dog home and it was just a little pug and it had like a, um, blue handkerchief tied around its neck. And I remember that and it was so playful. And then she passed away about a year ago. Um, it was really sad, but it was her time. Pugs are only supposed to live to be like eight years old because they have naturally bad respiratory systems and they're naturally overweight. But she lived to be really old. She was like 14, I think. So she didn't suffer at all um, until like the very last day. But then, you know, obviously that was okay. Um, anyways, nap time. I was the only kid that didn't have to sleep during that nap time. I was allowed to sit and color. I think it's because I have like ADD or something. I don't know, but I could not sleep during nap time. But I would bring my blankie anyways. Oh, um, when I was two years old, okay, my sister had a friend named Georgia. And Georgia had an older brother named Patrick, I think was his name. Patrick was my boyfriend. Um, I called him my boyfriend. He was like 19 years old and I was like two. I don't remember this, but this is what they tell me. So Patrick decided to take Georgia and Elle and I to the zoo one day. And we go to the zoo and I, I was potty training and I went to the bathroom and I was told that every time I would go to the bathroom, I would get a piece of bubble gum. So bubble gum was my favorite treat. Oh my gosh, I was the most obnoxious, annoying little kid ever. But bubble gum was my favorite treat and I would be like the little kid that was like slobbering and like smacking the bubble gum all the time. But um, I went to the bathroom and for some, it was in a Burger King in the zoo. And for some reason I came running out butt naked, no clothes on at all. And I was screaming, boyfriend, boyfriend, I went potty, give me bubble gum. And Elle said that her and Georgia just booked it out of there and that he came and he was like, get your clothes. And then he just like ran us out of there and we didn't go back to that zoo ever. Um, so I ran around Burger King butt naked. One time when I was like four or five, um, I threw a knife at Elle. Actually, we were eating at Ryan's and my parents had always told me I couldn't have knives, you know, and I opened up my silverware and there was a knife in it and I go, I can't have knives. And I threw it and it like almost hit Elle, but I mean, she ducked and everything. Like it didn't hit anyone, thankfully. And they didn't kick us out or anything. They were very nice about it. Um, but that could have been bad. <laughs> but I guess Elle has fast reflexes. I don't know. She says I was a very torturous little kid. Like, I, ugh. And I bet I was. I mean, thinking back on it, I'm sure I was. <laughs> I think that's all that I can remember about my years from birth to five. You don't have a lot of memories, but the ones you have are pretty great. Um, I guess that's it. So if you have access to a camera or a way to upload a video onto YouTube, I want you to make a video telling me your memories of birth to five years old or birth through preschool. And then the next video is going to be kindergarten and first, second, third. We're going to go all the way to junior year. And I want you guys to do it with me because I want to watch your videos too. So go ahead and post it as a video response and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.